So it might be in our best interest to actually fall back, like over to here, and let them invade a little bit. Because that'll mean they're starting to take attrition, their armies are going to be a little low on resources. That might be good for us. You know what? That actually sounds like a good idea. You stay there. We're going to invade this guy. You guys keep going to Mannheim. We're only going to go when we have number superiority. Okay, so we are going to catch that 11k army. Very good. There we go, we caught the 11k, and we have Saxony coming to help us out. They have more guys coming, let's send in troops. Defeat at Kolm. Oh, they just took Cologne back, that's what was going on. I was wondering what that was about. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this isn't Cologne, but whatever. I get it. Okay, we are engaged in Mannheim. Again, we have huge numeric superiority, that's good. Uh, we can hold back now. They've stopped moving. They're actually running away, it looks. Oh no, they did come. I'm not sure why it looked like they stopped. Alright, now this is a problem. This is a problem, because I stopped my army. I was bad. And we're also attacking over here. Crap. And they have 50k more. Why did I do that? I'm a dummy dummy. Can you come down here, please? Thank you. And uh, you guys, we're going to bring you up. We need you. Oh, yeah. I don't like it when the battles are even, that's for sure. We're actually doing okay in Mannheim. Over here, not so much. Okay, Mannheim, we killed 22,000 of them. Good, good. They are sending 39,000 more down to Lando. So let's get in close, in case we have to help out. Wow, that's a big battle. Let's go help. Even though we outnumber them, we're still taking uh, big losses here. They lost 96k, we lost 62k. Well, I'm not happy about losing 62k, but obviously I'm pretty pleased about killing 96k of them. Uh, we're going to send you guys home to replenish. The other two armies are going to push the advantage. They're running to mains, it looks like. Yes, they're running to mains. Let's push the advantage. Get rid of that army if we can. They went into the town, lol. Okay, you guys are coming to back this guy up. That's great. He's crossing a river. We should be okay right there. And we have 51k coming up. Good, good, good. We're at 15% already. Oh, they want a white piece. Do they want to give me land? They do. Hey. Will you free Italy? Wow, you have a lot of vassals. Why don't I see Italy? Oh, there it is, Italy. 43%. Wow, that, that would be... How is that 43%? Goodness. The Netherlands is 85%. Wow. I would love to get the Netherlands. That is 85%. I guess because they have a lot of high-value provinces, that's what it is. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay, so they've trapped troops in there. That's great. There are They are coming to attack me here, which is not the best, since these guys need to replenish. But we have backup coming. Oh, they're actually choosing to attack me here. Cool. We should do okay in that battle. Yeah, we're 
we're doing pretty good. Whoa, those guys disappeared. Where did they go? Whoa, weird. Uh, let's go back to Cologne. Take that back while they're not looking. You can't see me. Whoa, whoa, they reinforced heavily. And they're still reinforcing more. There we go. Oh my god, they have more troops coming to that battle. Oh my god, that's going to be a huge fucking battle. Lack of supplies, frontage, frontage, logistics. We just need one of their lines to break, but the problem is they have 50k more coming. Shit. Well, so do we, but ours is so far away. This is insane. We are killing a lot of them, though. 7,000? Yeah. Keep up the good number rolls. Yeah, that's good. Good. Denmark wants peace. Uh, we don't even control Glogau anymore. What is Russia doing? They're kind of marching around. I don't know how they haven't reached the front lines yet, but they haven't. This place needs to fall already so I can use that army for something else. You're going to arrive tomorrow, and we have... September, October... That's actually not that bad. We have about... 15 days before my backup comes. So hopefully we can hang in there for the, until then. Numbers are still very even, though. We're both taking heavy losses. Hopefully we can hang in there. Some mutiny in Spain. We lost our middle. That's terrible. Oh my god, is that terrible. No, we're gonna lose. Damn it. We only have our left flank. Shit. Alright, well, this place fell. We're at 17%. Not even enough to free Switzerland. Not even enough to free Tuscany. My goodness. won't even give us 11%. That's amazing. Well, they would give us a lot of land up here, and they would give us Anjbach. That might be worth it. You know what? Yeah. We don't need to press this war with France. We really don't. Because we can go to war with them again later. Wow, they only have 177k troops. The problem I have is Russia's not really helping out yet. And I really don't want to lose tons and tons and tons of troops right now. And that's what's going to happen. We're going to lose so many troops here. And our war score is just going to go down. So yeah, let's piece them out now. We can go to war with them again later. Let's take that and that. And some money. Alright, 150 gold. And we're going to get a whole lot of land in the north. And one little piece of province in the, in the south. That's good. As long as we don't uh, lose this battle today, then we should be fine. Okay, they accepted. Thank goodness. So, more land in the north. We took Hanover and Lunaburg and some other places. And these guys can now go heal up, which is going to take a long time. Okay, these guys... 
we're going to send you directly to Constantinople. You guys can come to here, I guess. And the other three armies, can, or four armies, can just heal up. I want, um, let's go heal up up there, up there, uh, right there. No, I'll do it in Stuttgart. And uh, Prague, I guess, or Carlsbad's probably better. Yeah. All right, we're just going to keep a couple armies up there so we can invade Prussia and finish that war. We might even take some of Denmark. That would actually be pretty cool. So yeah, war with France. That's a, a tough cookie because they have such hugely powerful armies. You know, even if they have smaller numbers than you do, they're probably going to win. You have to have a, an extreme numerical advantage to stand a chance. But Austria has good uh, soldiers as well. The quality of the soldiers is very good. They they compare well with France. Oh, France annexed Holland. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. Great Britain formed a coalition against France. Alright. Well, we can join their coalition soon enough. They just need to stop being at war with um, Russia. Jesus. It's like they got nothing better to do than a war with Russia. taken all of our manpower back or we've already used all of our manpower I should say oh you guys got trapped what's going on why are you trapped um go to go to memo god the ottomans have nothing how's their navy 26 compared to my 21, but they probably have a ton of transports, huh? 6 and 4, 2 and 4, that's 8 and 8. Where's the rest of their navy? Oh, what do we have? Oh, there's their navy. 6 and 4. 11 and 9. Oh, well, take them out. Shit, we just, we can't do a general, that's a problem. But 11 and 9 versus 6 and 4, we should be able to kill them, I think. Ship of the line? Yeah. Go on over there. Kill him. Good luck to you, sir. Oh, we can do another economic building. Let's do it. Let's do it. This one? Stuttgart? Yeah, let's do Stuttgart. That's cool. Yeah, our morale is not the best. Okay, we killed three of their ships of the line, but we lost one. Heal up. And, um, select the province, please. Select the province. There you go. Build me another ship of the line. I'm actually going to save and reload because we're not showing our vassals as being ally blue. These armies should be showing as ally blue instead of gray. They shouldn't be showing as neutral. So let me save and reload real quick. That seems to happen in this game when you have multiple wars going and one of the wars ends. Delicious coffee. Let's put the speed up all the way.
Okay, we've arrived down here. Probably, probably green, huh? No, it's yellow. All right, we will wait. Oh, new idea time. Uh, let's see, what have we got up here? Movement speed, that'd be nice. We've already taken all the fire ideas. We could do some supply ideas. Reinforcing stuff would be nice. Okay, we arrived in Constantinople. That'll be a nice part of the war score we can get with them. Take it out. Okay, come up here. Come on over here. Two percent on the Ottomans. My god, it's going to be a long war with them. Unfortunately. And now France is going to get its army up, isn't it? Well, they have no manpower. Did you guys actually start that war? No, you didn't. So, France and Britain have coalitions against each other, but they're not at war. So, France is just going to rebuild its armies. Six and four again. Um, you guys all 100%? Yeah, well, just go kill them. Get them, killer. Build four of their ships of the line. Very nice. Let's build some more ships of the line. Yeah, see now our vassals are showing as the army's being blue. It's kind of what I want. still haven't actually taken anything. I don't know why. Good. Okay, let's cross the strait. Oh, they finally took something. Good for you. Okay, Russia and Britain are at peace. That means Britain will probably declare war on France right now. Now's the best time. France has fucking no manpower. That's awesome. Let's increase relations with Spain. I want them on our side against France next time. Oh great, Russia declared we're on the Ottomans. Well, whatever. And they stopped us from crossing. God damn it. Our navy sucks. News at 11. Five and five. Well, all our ships are healthy. Take them on. Killed three more of them. Didn't lose anybody that time. Good, good. Once our navy is strong enough, we will definitely be using it against the Ottomans. Can't really use it yet against anyone else. 
but uh, yeah. There we go, we're across, very good. And our army is vastly superior to the Ottomans. So I don't mind engaging them when we're outnumbered. Well, I do mind, but not as much. Oh my goodness, we've actually made 59% in Madgeburg. We're going to get it this time, boys. Madgeburg, yes! Ooh, baby, we have Madgeburg. And there's nothing else that needs sieging. So let's take you home. You can go heal up in... Carlsbad. Sounds good to me. What's our war score with Prussia? 70. All right. It's fine. Can we catch them? No. But we can get Ismet back. Alright, there we go. Britain declared war on France. That's the best news ever. if we can't catch one of these armies and just take it out. Civilized development is done. There we go, we caught one of them. This should be a wash. Oh god, look at that. We lost 500, they lost 11,000. <laughs> yes. Kill them all. We're at 8% war score. Good, good. Uh, and Constantinople is going to fall soon. That's awesome. Our vassals should be invading Denmark. Go on, vassals, you can do it. Now, Britain will hopefully invade down here and take out some of that ship, and that'll allow us to go to war with France soon enough. They, they have a bigger army than we do, but neither of us has any fucking manpower. Spain joined the coalition led by France. That's not good. That is not good. At all. Okay, let us, yeah, let's, let's just go kill their, their guys for now. We will invade soon. Well, I don't want Russia to get too much of an advantage down here. I guess it doesn't matter that much. We're not really interested in much of these lands, but I do want to get Cyprus in this war. Then we can just kind of ignore the Ottomans entirely after that. How much? How many ships do they have left? They've only got 13 ships left. God, so Spain joined on the wrong side of that war. That really sucks. Lose, revolt, risk, and pest. Okay. And they've grouped up into a death stack, but we should be able to, to beat them toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Constantinople has fallen. Very good. Wow, we're actually not doing very well here. Why not? Well, they have better leaders than we do. I guess that says something. Oh well, let's retreat. is going to Saqqara, which is over there. Oh, 
there. Still retreating. Okay, we'll follow. And most of them are dead. Yeah, you need to replenish quite a bit. All of our armies do. Coburg has fallen. It's up to 77. God damn it. Alright, just go home. Okay, let's work on another uh, civilized development in Lemberg. That'll work. And, uh, hmm. We really need more manpower. Let's keep getting depots. Since they're nice and cheap. And they only take six months instead of a year to build. Brilliant. These ships take forever to build. Konigsberg. Good, 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 good. And now we're just left with Danzig. Hurry up. Look at them trying to get an army together. Look at that. You little bastards. I just slapped that thought right out of your head. Take that. Oh, now they're trapped. <laughs> Love that. Danzig has fallen. Okay. 100%. So can't make them a satellite. Uh, we could make them spit out Westphalia, but that just looks bad. Oldenburg looks bad. We're at 68 on Denmark. Would they start giving us stuff? They would. And they would give us some of Prussia's lands, but not much. Let's just peace out Prussia. Definitely want Magdeburg. Wow, that's 90% already. Wow. There's nothing else I could demand if I want those. Not even that. Wow. Well, I really want these because they are forts. But maybe it'd be smarter to take some of this. Maybe that would be smarter. So Russia wouldn't get any bright ideas, but goddamn, even that's 108 war score just for three. Well, there's a hundred. That'll have to do. That looks terrible. There we go. And that does look terrible. But Danzig is the most important province. So we've got it. Uh, let's go heal up a little bit. One of you can stay in Danzig, and the other one we're going to put in Radom. No, not a very good rate there. Let's go to Olmos. Yeah, that's fine. 